I'm going to compare three of my personal favorite AI tools that you can use to generate fashion models. So today the AI tools we're going to use are VModel, VMake AI and Outfit Changer. Then we'll compare the results. Now let's dive right in because we're wasting no time. This is very exciting. So we're going to start with VModel. When you go to vmodel.ai, the link is going to be in the description. Don't worry about it. You just click try on. It will let you go through the full process. And before you generate, you'll be prompted to sign up. So you just use an email address and you'll be good to go. I have signed up already. All right. So we want to go to generate try on. If we go to generate now. And then we're going to upload our model. This is our model. We're going to use the same model across board so we want a dark head plus size model and this is what we are going to use so now we want to change her blouse now over here it gives you the option for upper body lower body dresses upper body tops and jackets and stuff lower body is for like bottoms pants shorts and dresses are for like dresses one piece items so we want upper body we just want to change her blouse then we'll upload and uh, the blouse we want her to wear this is it. We are going to keep the outfit constant as well for all the AI tools. And then we can put in a description here or like a prompt, but we'll just keep it simple. And we generate, just click generate. So it's really simple. Upload a model, upload the clothes you want the model to wear and then click generate. And that's it. Now with this tool, we can only do one piece of outfit at a time. So you can combine a top and a bottom so we just have to wait for the results when you sign up for free you get 30 points or what they call credits you get 30 credits all right so this is the outfit we have generated right so we're just gonna click download and we will compare it later now let's move on to the next ai tool all right so here we are at outfitchanger.com now we're gonna do the same outfit be using the same model so you go to get started for free if you don't have an account you sign up you can use an email address i already have an account so i'm good to go now it's similar to v, v model there's three different well there are a number of panels and this is to upload the model we're going to upload the same model as i said to keep it consistent to see how the generations all look all right, there we have a model right here. We're going to open and upload it. So now we are going to upload the garment, which is the colorful blouse. All right, now this is the blouse that we want the model to wear. Now that everything has been uploaded, I'm not going to put in anything in the prompt down here, even though you can. I'm just going to generate everything as is. This is really simple. You scroll down and you click on try on. I was going to take some time to create a mask on the model and put her in the outfit. Okay, this thing happens every time, waiting for a GPU to become available. Finally, it's available. So this just means that your generation is going to take a little bit longer than it usually does. Usually it takes less than 30 seconds, but this is showing more than 30 seconds. So that's fine. So we wait. So it took about 40 something seconds and we are done. So here we have the blouse. We can tell that there's a bit of a weird neckline thing going on. Um, but we said we were not going to create, um, add anything to the prompt because we wanted to compare it as is. So we're going to write here and just download this one. Okay, so this is VMake AI. This is how it looks. And um, we want to do a flat lay. Flat lay just means the clothes flat and not on a model. So we're going to click on upload here. And then we're going to upload the, the, the image, the garment we want to be on the model. And then we're going to choose if it's top, bottom, or one piece, which is like a dress or a, a bodysuit or something. So we go for top garment. It's going to scan it and then we are going to choose our model. Now, unlike the other AI tools, we cannot use our own model. 
the best we can do is choose from the lot so we go to a model over here and then let's try and customize okay let's just choose this model customize now their size we can go with a large a large is not really big but let's see what a large would look like um there's smile there's laugh there's cool i like people who laugh let's go with laugh now let me add that if you want to customize a model based on these parameters you'll be using three credits i don't know if it's worth it for you but you you can decide so if you want your model laughing or like straight cool smile and if you want her size so now let's see how the large model will look so we go to done now we can choose the bottom she's gonna wear i'm gonna go with these dark bottoms over here this gray background seems fine or let's go with a living room background because the other one had a similar look now let's generate with a three credits Typically, flat lay takes two credits, but this is three because we are customizing a model. Now, another difference with vMake AI as compared to the rest is it takes a longer time to generate. I don't know if it's because it's generating both a top and a bottom, but it takes about two, it's always not less than two minutes, two minutes plus. This one, for instance, is saying two and a half minutes. That's a lot of time, but it's workable. You can start generating and go and do other things online, like go and subscribe to my channel. All right, our images have finally been generated and let me just take a look at this. I have no idea why she's standing on a couch, which is bizarre. I think next time I'm gonna stick with um, a plain background and not use living room or these other things. The cool thing about it is if you use a plain background, you can always change the background later. So this is weird, but I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think the large model actually makes her look plus size, which is quite nice. And I also love the smiling model. I think it makes it look more real. This is the second image. Okay, so, the, so now she's standing on the floor, which is a bit soft. She can't be that heavy. <laughs> so I think typically I would opt for an, this image more than her standing on. This is cool. This is cool with the wood background and the plants on the side. I like this. And the very last one, another bizarre sofa or bed type of thing. Pass. I think I would stick with this. Why she's barefoot, I don't know, but um, yeah, I'll take it. So of all the images, I'm going to download this one because this is my favorite. Now we're going to compare the three images we've generated on a few parameters. Now these are the three images. The most inconsistent of them all would be this one in terms of the blouse. The neckline is a little funny. The sleeve is a little weird now this image came from outfit changer and then the sleeve kind of blends into her arm in a way that looks a little weird so these are the inconsistencies i am seeing these inconsistencies are quite clear the v make ai i think this is quite consistent even though the bottom of the blouse does look a bit wide but it could also be the way the model is posed with the legs out. So that also makes sense. Now with V model, I think it's it looks good. The sleeve definition, it's there. I feel like this part also is a little bit wonky. It's a bit of a wonk right here, which is a little bizarre. Her right arm also looks, her fingers look a little strange. That's if you zoom in, okay? So that being said, I think of the three, I'm going to go with VMake AI. I am going to choose this as my plus size, my go-to plus size model because the consistency in the blouse was there. Her arms and feet are well-defined. I don't think she looks very AI-ish. 
as much. And also with this VMake AI option, I don't have to worry about changing her face. She's already an AI model, so she's free to use. And these with these two, because I took the, the image from somewhere else, I'd have to change her face to prevent copyright issues. Yeah, I mean, it can be done, but it's an extra step. So, I mean, the res these are the results. VMake AI unfortunately took the longest to generate. It took over two minutes and that's quite long. The model took about 25 seconds. Outfit changer took around 42 seconds, which is even quite long because it looks like there was a long queue today. So in terms of time, VMake AI, even though it gave the best definition in terms of output it, the time is a little long my number two would be v model and my number three would be outfit changer that's that's my personal opinion there's a third thing we need to compare here the cost now outfit changer is free you have a number of generations you can do in a day like in 24 hours i think it's just around eight to 10 i'm not sure i have not done that many to max out before with vmake ai you get about five points when you sign up for the free plan when your points are done that's it <laughs> you have to get uh, a paid plan now their paid plans are not expensive you can get a number of points for a decent amount but it is a subscription that means that you'd have to you'd be charged every month so you have to be aware of that. Now V model gives you 30 points to use when you start for free. And then when you're done with, you'd have to buy. But with V model, it is not a subscription. It's a one-time payment. You buy the credits as you need. So you can buy it, buy as many as you want and it does not expire and you not get charged every month. Outfit changer is obviously the cheapest option. Um, next for flexibility, V model is next in terms of price and V make. So V make is quite expensive. And I guess with the generations and the quality of the images, you can understand why the price is a price. So these are the comparison levels. What do you think about these images? Which of them is your favorite? Which would you use? I have links to every single one of them in the description. So you can choose your favorite or you could try all of them just like I did and see which one works for you. Sometimes you do not care about accuracy. Use Outfit Changer if you're looking for high end images, high, super high quality images, use VMake. If you're looking for something right in between and you want to change tops and bottoms, but you're like not trying to break the bank, use V Model. okay? So these are my tips and let me know what you think in the comment section. All right. And don't forget to subscribe.